Hey everyone, in this video today I have the launch Creator Elite 2.0T and this one has all these different functions. It pretty much is fully featured for Toyota and Lexus. This is mainly software based. You cannot plug this into another vehicle that is not a Toyota and Lexus and expect it to work. However, you are able to download additional softwares. This reader also does come in other models as well, like a BMW, Mercedes, etc. First, we go into upgrade, and as part of this, it will actually remove the other packages like Mercedes, BMW, Chrysler, etc. And in that process, it'll update Toyota and Lexus, which this was designed for. Under diagnose, you can see Lexus, Toyota, and then under mall, you actually have the option to purchase other modules, but just think of this as just for Toyota and Lexus, or whichever brand you purchased this for. Upon plugging this in, it does a VIN scan to show the VIN in the computer, and from there it does show all the different protocols, and whether they pass, fail, just to show which protocols it operates on. Beyond that, it does show you the check engine light status, number of DTCs, readiness monitors. First, I want to check the monitor status. So here we have all the catalyst monitors, O2 monitors, etc., and we can even read the live data from the feed here on specific values. So I'm just going to select a couple of random ones, but as I scroll through, you can see all the different values available. The few I selected were number of miles since the last check engine light was cleared, engine RPMs, and then a couple of bank statuses and stuff like that. There are no fault codes in this, which is great, but of course I just want to check other areas. These are all the different sensors, and they're all showing as OK. And now we're looking specifically at one of the data streams. So now we're looking at the hybrid specific one, and in here, looking at things like calibration, ignition cycles, catalyst, O2 sensors, etc. Given this is Toyota and Lexus specific, we're going to go straight into diagnose. We're going to tap on Toyota, and through here, I'm going to show you how this actually connects and all. So after loading, I tap the very top option. I'm going to select the year for my car, which is 2017 plus with radar cruise, and we get some information here like the mileage. Now, if we continue through, we get some very specific information from the health report. What I like about this particular part is if you decide you want to go buy a vehicle out there that's used, this will definitely not hold back. This will show you about all the different modules within the car, like occupant detection you see here, TPMS, radio related things, radar crews to show you exactly where all the faults are across all the different computers in the system. This goes way beyond the engine. It's like doing a deep dive scan and having that read back to you. This is absolutely amazing. And this is where the real meat and value comes from in the launch device. So now that it's scanned everything, this is where all the faults are in my current system. It does show current and historic ones. So if someone were to clear a code, it will show it was historically there. A lot of the modules show as great other than the codes that you see up top there. And I'm able to, to read specifically what these codes mean and even where they are in the system. So it helps a lot in diagnosing these things. And for all those different systems you see in the previous screen, I'm able to actually look at values particular with those systems. So like the hybrid control, combination meter, everything like that. From here, we can read directly into computers in different parts of the car. So you can see that whole list here. We can read specific fault codes and data stream just to see the functionality of different things that are going on in these different systems. So here I'm looking specifically at the occupancy detection part, which I didn't really think had so many values. But now as I'm pressing on the seat here, you can see that the value changes and it's reading the weight sensor of that. That's something a typical OBD reader is not going to do for you. And that's what this thing does. Now, if you're troubleshooting a particular area, you can see again with the list of modules, I can go into something like the window or a driver door motor, and then actually read fault codes, read a data stream, and even do an actuation test to be able to test the window up and down and all that. And you can actually hear the window clicking as you actually test this. So hopping screens over, this is the service function menu, and these are all the different things that you can do with the car. You can see things like ABS, TPMS, key codes, erasing and registering as well. This makes it particularly interesting and definitely something that one should consider that you can actually do these different services with the car. So this pretty much wraps this up. It's a very fully featured device, especially for the particular one that you're using it on, which in this case is a Toyota.